Hello Year 1 and welcome back to English. Now it's a good job you've been learning about penguins this week because I'm hoping you know lots of information because we've got a little job for you. When I went into school the other day I noticed something had happened. We found a penguin in the classroom. So I'm a bit confused really how it even got there. So I think we're going to have to figure out how it got there first and then maybe we're going to have to figure out how to look after it. I don't know. But the trouble is, as soon as you put the penguin down, it disappeared. So you can't always see it. It hides. So it was definitely there the other day. You can see in the picture, Jasper's got a hold of it. But then we put it down, had a look at some things that it had next to it, and it was gone. It was hidden. So sometimes you'll go into the classroom and you can see it, and other times it's gone. I don't even know where it is now. We'll have to be on the lookout, won't we? And hopefully, once we're all back in class, it might realise that we're all super friendly and it might come out and see us, but I just don't know. Anyway, when we had a look at it, there were some things next to it as well. So, we've got this penguin. He had a picture of a boat with him. Don't know why he had a picture of a boat with him. Why do you think he might have a picture of a boat? Pause the video and have a little think about it. See if you can figure out why he might have brought a picture of a boat with him. And where he's come from. So we've got a picture of a boat. Where do penguins come from, by the way? South Pole. Right. Why would he need a boat then? Anyway, move on. This was also in there. I mean, it was a bit wet and damp, but you can't really see how wet it is on there. But I, I, I can't. Well, what, what do you think it is? You think it might be a map? But then why is it wet? Hmm. Pause the video and have a think what this might be telling us. So, so far we've got a picture of a boat and a wet map, which looks like it's got some bits missing from it, which is not really much use for a map, is it? Then there was a picture of our school. Why would that be there? Pause the video, have a little think. Why would you have a picture of our school? So, if we put all of the different clues together, I'm not sure if it tells us anything really, but I'm wondering if we put the clues together whether it might just tell us how the penguin got to us. Because we've obviously got a penguin. Where did he start out? Where was he living? And then he's somehow got to our school, so how did he get there? Now if we're thinking that he's got to our school that's not a normal place for a penguin so there must have been a problem so which bit shows us the problem and then hopefully if there's a problem there's a solution to the problem so which bit is going to solve our problem and then hopefully there's going to be a finally like a, a way of sort of ending everything and that the ending I'm guessing is where we're up to right now which I presume is that the penguin is still somewhere in our classroom I just don't know where is it could be in the bay could be in Mrs Weir's classroom could be in Mrs Golden's classroom I just don't know so what I want us to do today is think about whether we can try and put together the story of what's happened to this penguin so then we can maybe try and help it so if we think about a story mountain you've got one in your pack what I want to do is just be able to draw in the clues in the right bits and then maybe to be able to sort of retell the story a little bit in a way to be able to tell this penguin what we think has already happened so that we can kind of move on to the next bit. So I'm thinking that maybe the once upon a time is once upon a time there was a penguin but you'll know more than this than me because you, you'll know where the penguin might have lived. So once upon a time there was a penguin who lived... I mean, I don't know, in the, in the South Pole, maybe? One day, what did he decide to do? I wonder if he decided to go out on his boat. 
Now, whether that would be a good thing or a bad thing, did he go on an adventure? I don't know. And then, unfortunately, which bit do you think would be the unfortunately? Which bit do you think is the problem? Yeah, I went for the map because I figured that a map with a hole in is quite a big problem. And the map said South Pole on it. And it seemed to have a little track of where he wanted to go. He had a plan. Trouble being that then he's ended up with a hole in it. I'm wondering if the if it's wet, do you think it's gone over the side of the boat? So how is he going to solve this problem? Well, I'm wondering if he's seen a sign or a picture or something that showed him the way to our school. And he's thought that that looks like a safe place to be. So the solution to the problem of being a bit lost because his map's got bits missing was to come to our school. And then we've already said that finally he's in the classroom. Hopefully he's going to live happily ever after. But I guess we're going to have to figure out the, the best way to look after him, aren't we? So what I want you to do today is to fill in the parts of the story mountain. And then if you can, you could either record yourself or write down the story of how this penguin has ended up in our classroom. So see if you can do it. See if you can record it. I'd love to see some videos of you telling me what you think's happened. You could email them to me or you could write it down if you prefer. You could send me a picture of your um, story of how you think the penguin might have got into our classroom. I don't know what the penguin's name is. So if you want me to come up with a name, that would be a good idea. Um, and then we'll have to come up with some ideas of how we're going to look after him. And hope that he comes back out again at some point so we can spot him. Because um, I don't know where he is at the moment. So we'll have to be on the lookout. And when you come back to school, which isn't too long now, hopefully he'll come out and we'll be able to see him together. So we'll be able to figure out the best way to look after him then, won't we? So write me your stories or, or record your stories and then send them to me so I can try and figure out how this penguin has got into our classroom.